but I thought, what is something that everybody cares about? And everybody cares about food. You may recognize him as City News' resident medical expert, but he's an author too. With his book titled, Does Coffee Cause Cancer? Dr. Christopher Labos is debunking myths about nine common foods, starting with the daily staple right here at Cafe Coco and Bean. Everybody has heard a lot of these things, a lot of these myths, like that red wine is good for you, that chocolate is going to boost your brain power, or that coffee causes cancer, or that coffee causes heart attacks. So being able to dispel these things while also teaching people a little bit about statistics and epidemiology is, I think, interesting. And framing the book like a romantic comedy, I did, just makes it even more digestible. Dr. Labo says to narrow a focus on uncommon incidents and research barriers in food science are some of the reasons why so many misconceptions exist. Caffeine is a stimulant, and there have been cases of people overdosing on caffeine, but that has usually happened in contexts where teenagers were getting these concentrated caffeine powders that they were ordering online, or people overdosing accidentally because they drank a large amount of energy drink. The only way to do food research in many circumstances is to use questionnaires to ask people, what have you eaten on average over the past six months? one year, two years, and human memory isn't good enough to give you an accurate information about that. So a lot of the research that we're doing is being based on inaccurate data. Dr. Labos urges consumers to be weary of headlines that don't convey the whole story. If you heard that at some point a judge in California said that coffee needed to carry a warning label that it was carcinogenic, I mean, that is a true story in that that thing actually happened. But coffee doesn't cause cancer. Most of the research here is that coffee does not cause cancer. Most of the epidemiological research has shown that it decreases cancer. We know what you have to do to eat healthy. You have to, first of all, most importantly, not smoke. Second of all, be physically active, walk every day, do regular exercise. And in terms of your diet, we know what's good for you. Eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Don't eat a lot of processed foods. That is very clear, and that makes up the vast majority of what you need in terms of a healthy lifestyle. In Montreal, Anastasia Dextreen, City News. Ahead on City News.